guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 10 of the Cracking Advent Calendar. So today I have two specimens to show you guys. Now these are beautiful ammonites that are currently very hidden by the mud of the cliff that they came out of. So these are really, really lovely and I'm so excited to see what's underneath because you can actually see the really strong ribbing poking through. Now I do believe these are of the family Hildoceros but the ribbing is slightly unusual on these ones. So some of you who are a bit more of an expert on ammonites might be able to advise. But basically, we're gonna just give these a really, really good scrub and then see what beauty lies underneath. These are the specimens up close. So as you can see, they are really beautiful and there is a lot hiding under the excess mud. So I'll show you the smaller one first. But look how prominent those ribs are. They are really, really stunning and it looks like it's all there and I think it's beautifully preserved. So we're gonna scrub away at this one and hopefully reveal what's underneath. And then this larger one, we can't quite see all of it and I'm not sure it is all in one piece. It looks like it might have some damage to the outer world. But I was thinking, let's just give it a scrub and see what we're actually dealing with underneath the mud. But again, if you look closely, you can see all the ribbing underneath and these were just waiting for me to find them. So this one's a little bit more in disguise and it was a bit harder to spot. Whereas this one, those ribs really wanted to come home with me. So let's get scrubbing. So after a lot of scrubbing, this is what we're left with. So they look completely different to how I expected them to look at. So we'll start with the larger one. So it does have some missing pieces in the outer world, which I think just adds to its beauty because it just makes it look like a different specimen. Um, but then if you look closely, it does have its center, but I'm gonna have to prep that off with my Dremel because this had mud all over it, but that middle bit is actually rock. So my toothbrush didn't quite manage to lift that, but the actual specimen is quite lovely. And it's preserved, if you look closely, like there's some really nice preservation going on in the inner worlds. So I think this one fully prepped with a bit of paraloid on all the bits of shell, might look quite spectacular. I kind of like it when specimens have something unique about them rather than being completely pristine because that's just not how fossils actually are. Does it stand? Maybe. Oh, and it stands on its own, kind of, for a few seconds. I can work on that. And then the smaller one is beautiful. I didn't realize, but when I was scrubbing off the mud, you might have been able to see it almost looked black poking through. Look at this preservation. In these inner worlds is spectacular. So the shell is kind of nicely preserved up to this point here. And then this part of the outer world is a bit more weathered, but it also changes color. So it has got a little bit more of the matrix. I need to try and get off right in the grooves of the wells, but I'll use my Dremel for that. But overall, compared to how it looked with mud, this is amazing. And if I put a little bit of water on it, it will bring out the colors of these inner worlds perfectly. Just look at it sparkle. So the preservation of this one is stunning. I don't think I've had one so darkly preserved, not in Hildoceros's at least. Look at that. And the ribbing of this one is so prominent, like it's a really stunning piece. So I'll just put a bit of water all over it so it can all sparkle. Look at that. <laughs> that is so unusual. I did not expect it to look like this underneath the mud. Like the preservation on this one 
is beautiful. And you can even see the suture lines if you look closely. So the suture lines are these little wiggles underneath the ribs. And on this specimen, we're blessed with both. Like, how cool is that? Like, I was expecting it to all be there, but not to be so beautiful inside. And then if you look right in the center, all the detailing is there. Look how tiny the whirls go. Like, it's a completely perfect ammonite. So now you can understand why sometimes the centers aren't there, because look how tiny they are. So then this one, I'll also wet it a little bit just so you can see it in all its glory. Um, just because these inner whirls are quite beautifully preserved as well. Now these two fossils did come from the same site. So it just goes to show, it doesn't matter where you're hunting, you can always find something spectacular. So it's kind of like the rougher one. It's like Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Look at those. I'm so happy with how these have turned out. They have completely exceeded my expectations. Beautiful. But that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed coming along for today's cracking advent calendar. I'm so happy with how these turned out. And all I did was scrub them with a toothbrush. So you really never know what's underneath, especially with fossils. And I have scrubbed a lot of muddy fossils and this little one really caught me by surprise. I was not expecting it to have such amazing preservation underneath. So some really stunning ammonites here, so I'm very happy. But I do hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you did. I'll link my social media down below if you'd like to follow me on there. But thank you again for watching and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow for the big one. But if I don't, Merry Christmas and I hope you're all having, oh, it's Christmas Eve today, I nearly forgot. Merry Christmas Eve and I hope you have a wonderful Christmas tomorrow. But there will be an episode tomorrow, but no pressure to watch it. I hope you're all having a lovely Christmas holiday. But um, yeah, thank you again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.